everyone today with the amazing opportunity and a highly expensive scholarship for all of the students uh, around the world so uh today i will guide i will have a, a new opportunity a new scholarship plus internship uh, which is basically an institute of science and technology austria if you check it on a google that they will show you that what's the rank they have and what kind of uh sustainability in the research they have let's move toward uh the video uh, today i will make a, just a short video about it and how you can apply and little bit i will uh, give you a information about the documentations so you can see that internship and scholarship program internship you can apply internship all over the world but mostly from july to september there are two ways to apply on the internship but true but today i will guide you about the scholarship program who can apply in the scholarship program uh, deadline for the january is 2026 so still you have almost uh 25 days to apply on this program if you want to learn more about the about, about this scholarship you can just uh, learn more about the phd program you just click on it you can find more information about the application process i will guide you about the application process and internship and uh, uh, summer fellowship program uh, you can apply uh, from the final deadline for application was february to the uh, february 5 2025 and uh, the scientific internship and research products student who are either pursuing or having a bachelor or master degree in the natural computer science mathematics or any other related discipline eligible to apply for a scientific intern position at ista so this one this um internship basically summer fellowship is a already passed but you can apply a scientific internship and research project which is almost around about two to three months and you can apply it around the world uh, around uh, almost all over the all over the year and you can look at here that who can apply the natural or computer science almost biology uh, chemistry computer physics mathematics related students can apply on these uh, scholarships let's move toward uh, the phd program who can apply ista scholarship for phd program uh, if you have a bachelor degree or you have a master degree, you can apply it. Both bachelor and master students can apply. And this scholarship is basically for master and PhD students. Uh, the, the master student criteria is basically the um, how you can apply on the base of bachelor degree. But you will have a degree in ISTA program like master's leading to PhD. Is almost your master and PhD will be covered. Or if you have a master degree you can directly apply for the phd program only so you have a two way if you are bachelor you can apply master plus phd but if you have a master degree you can apply for phd program directly let's move toward the uh, the port the uh, benefit that what kind of benefit you will get that this is a high pay uh, scholarship stars austria phd scholarship offer fully funded job like position with competitive salaries almost Alma, you can see that the maximum is 3601 uh, euros per month uh, for almost 14 per year. No tuition, no application fee, full social security, and funds of conference. They also provide a conference and they will also support if you have a family. They will provide you a child care, housing, flexible work, and international research environment. And the, they have also have other facilities. They mm, facilities you you will get to know about it after you if you successfully get this scholarship okay let's move there if you want to apply on it you just have to click on apply now and they will open this page if you don't have an account you have to make an account like i i need to register i already made it account so i just directly put up my email here and then click on login okay so you can see the c submitted application because i already uh, uh submitted my application here just click on it because i already apply for someone uh, on this scholarship that uh because the opportunity is too high and too big so therefore i decided to make a video on it that and in this in this uh application i will guide you that what kind of documents what kind of things you have to provide one more important thing is that they will ask you a research proposal you have to find the research paper according to their department professors you have to find the professor on the department and you have to uh, read one or two research paper and then you have to make a research proposal on it because 
they they clearly mention on their website that your research area should be aligned with one of the professor in the ista because you don't need to put get a acceptance letter from a professor but you have to a research proposal which is which is 50 percent aligned with the professor uh with with any one or two professor in the ista um uh, is, so let's move toward that what kind of data you have to fill in it like a personal detail uh uh, last name you have to provide a uh, address here is your permanent address different from your country you have to provide two kind of address your residence and your permanent address you have to provide the nationality information and then you have to give uh, information about education uh, you have to provide a bachelor uh one more thing i want i wanna um i wanna uh, discuss here because if you fill application you will be confused because first they ask you a bachelor degree or equivalent degree because if you want to apply for a phd program you should have a master degree but you have uh, bachelor students can apply master to le leading to phd but master student also have to uh, um, provide the information about their master degree in the first step you have to give the information about your bachelor degree that from which city you will get and you have to write the email uh, the log uh, the website link of the university and you can also search here you can see here i just write the name of the university and they give me a university of sargodha pakistan and you can choose a department that in which department you completed you have to mention the highest score the lowest passing grade your cgpa and if you didn't get a final degree you can just click on it and this one is a master degree if you have a bachelor degree and then you have to provide information about your master degree if you are going to apply for phd direct program you have to write the name of the uh, field your department your master institution name and master institution website the good thing about this university is that you don't write manually the name of the university you can just write the name here and they will give you a drop down menu where you can select the university uh, in, in which, uh, from where you get a last degree uh, you have to provide city country your starting date your expected results and highest possible lowest score and one more important thing is that you don't need to provide any kind of IELTS score no kind of any uh, experience or additional document if you have it's a plus point but they didn't require anything here other degrees you have you you, uh, you can provide information like a bachelor degree a bachelor of science chemistry university of sargodha i already informed you here you can provide bachelor or master degree here and this one for uh ample degree and then you have your bachelor degree if you have like a bsc and msc then mphil then this one you can use but if you have only a bs four-year program and master two-year program you can directly write here uh bachelor information and here a master information and then finish and then you don't need to provide this information i provide this information because the student have two kind two degrees like a bsc msc and then mphil application data you have to choose please choose up to three research areas so the i choose a chemistry organic you can choose a different program and then you have to suggest a three to five professor in the reference so i already told you you can find the name of the professor on their website they have in faculty section and you can search research paper because they mentioned that uh, should your application be successful they should therefore be in the area of research you would like to pursue if you were admitted to ISTA in most cases the professors you mentioned here will review your application because um, your application will directly transfer to the department professor and if professor find it this student align 70 percent with my research they will definitely accept you that and then you have to provide additional data uh, information uh, the program or the research paper you choose you have to mention that in which program you are going to apply choose paper by ista professor describing research that you would like to be a part of please give it or doi you have to provide the information about the doi of the paper because you have uh, you already I already mentioned that you have to write a research proposal according to the professor research article then you can just directly put the DOI here which other group outside of Vista and your home institution is conducting scientific research that excite is or inspire you you can write about your uh, previous research your attachment should be not more than 3 uh, 39 MB 
sir kulam you have to provide a cv here statement of purpose i uh, i i emphasize people that you have uh, your statement of purpose should be a strong because statement of purpose have more um, more authentic document than a cv because because this basically they analyze that what kind of previous background you have and what kind of future capabilities you want to do in your future uh, bachelor certificate you have to upload your bachelor certificate your bachelor transcript your master diploma your master certificate and other documents and if you have internship award and publication you can mention mention it here Additional information that uh, please provide university country or program type just you can skip it where you learn about the ISTA social media and have you ever attend the Vista virtual student open day you can click it no and uh, please enter any detail you think you are relevant in the box section if you have any comment on this scholarship you can put it here and you have to provide the referees information they will require the three referees like a one two and three and then you can submit your application and they will send a uh, email to your referee they will provide a recommendation on on your uh, on your behalf and then your application will be accepted and you no, don't need to pay any kind of application fee and the scholarship is highly qualified a high pay uh, scholarship in austria i suggest you that all of the people who already have a bachelor degree they apply on master to leading people program and those who have an mphil degree they have to apply on direct phd program and if you want want to get more information like a faculty resources you can click it here and if you want uh, want to want to get information that about the internship they are uh, they mention about internship here you can just click it and apply it here internship are open uh, all around the year and what kind of program you can apply biology chemistry material computer science data science mathematics neuroscience physics almost every field is here so, so there is no excuse there sir i don't know where i can apply you should have to make a quick decision because life is getting to worse day by day so secure your position secure your family uh, share this video with your friends so um, in your circle so and also support me if you have any query you can ask me in the comment section uh, until that time allah hafiz